Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm bringing you along for, yes you guessed it, an apple and cranberry pie. So I'm, I'm in the middle of the canning session. I've got seven quarts of apple and cranberry pie filling in the water bath canner and I've got my cast iron lodge pie pan. I love this thing. Uh, I'll leave a link somewhere down below in the description box but I have plenty of filling left so I'm gonna make a pie um, I mentioned it to my daughter and as soon as I said cran cranberry apple pie she was like oh mm. so ready ready-made crust is a lifesaver around the holidays and so um, I'm gonna do a little chit chat for you if I haven't already about the holidays getting ready but this is a great holiday dessert, a great alternative to just apple pie and or pumpkin pie. So it's a holiday pie. So you can use it for your Thanksgiving holiday or your Christmas holiday coming up or even New Year's. All right, so couldn't be simpler because the pie filling's already made. Now, if you were gonna make this from just doing pies with no clear gel, let's say, you're gonna have um, your sugar and flour or sugar and cornstarch mixture so it thickens. Um, I'll try to leave you uh, a, no, I'm just gonna do it this way because there's plenty of recipes out there for apple and cranberry pie from scratch. Um, now I don't cook the cranberries and the apples first, they're gonna cook in the pie. So, all right, come on in and I'll show you how easy this is. It's definitely a dump and go. Okay, so you might hear the timer go off during this clip, but this is sat out on the counter long enough for me to go out and get firewood and I had to change because I got mud all over my shirt but you want to make sure that you let this um, come to room temperature otherwise it's going to crack when you unroll it and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a roll um, Oh, I gotta get my egg wash too. So my oven is preheated. So you know, you got your nice disc here. Perfect. Okay, let me get an egg wash. We'll get this in the pan. And actually what you can do, so it makes it easier to get this into your pie plant, your pie pan is just like this. Whoop. And there you go. And you're gonna just let it gently go down in there. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so excited when I bring over a dessert. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let me get the egg wash. And if you need to stretch it a little bit more like around, you want it up over the edge of your pipe plate because you're gonna crimp the edges. Okay, let's do it. All right, here we go. Down our pie filling goes. You're gonna want to use in a fresh recipe about a cup and a half of cranberries to probably six apples, maybe even more. Depending on how lofty you want your pie, right? Ooh, we need some butter dots on here too. Look at that, oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And if you guys want to see a cranberry pie, let me know in the comment section because I also have a delicious recipe for a fresh cranberry pie. And beans, it's cranberry season. Okay, let's get some butter and we'll dot that pie with some butter. And let me grab a stick of
so I've got my butter and I just you know just cut butter pats you want to dot your pie <laughs> mm. oh my gosh I'm super excited about this one maybe one more for good measure why not there we go mm -mm -mm. okay now let me wash my hands off a little bit okay so <laughs> after a trial and error a couple of times you know when you don't do this every day how you go oh crud it's not graceful let's just put it that way so i'm going to brush my pie crust generously with this beautiful egg wash from the girls and i gotta remember to get more eggs when I'm over there. I took them a bunch of apple peels. I didn't take the cores and the seeds, but the apple peels themselves and some lettuce uh, that was bolting in the garden. They loved it. They could care less about me once I go in with that kind of stuff. Anyway, there you go. All right. So now it's brushed all beautiful. Now you could sprinkle some coarse uh, sugar on here, but oh my gosh, look how beautiful this pie is. It's big, it's lofty, it weighs a lot. I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet lined with parchment just in case we have a bubble over. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Okay guys, so the first piece of pie, especially with the lattice top, is always the hardest to get out, but oh my goodness, is it worth it? Let's just take a bite and see. Gotta have pie crust and a little piece of apple and a little piece of cranberry. Let's do it. That's a, not a YouTube bite, but. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys have to make this. It's tart and delicious. It's absolutely wonderful. You get the apple, and the fall flavors, but the tartness from the cranberry and those apples were, you know, they're a tart apple anyway. Oh my gosh. Absolutely wonderful. The texture is perfect. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to make a different pie for Thanksgiving and can up some pie filling because it's delicious.